Hey folks, it's Rob, and this is Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth, and it's launch day. Ooh, the game is out. Yes, and it's finally unlocked for me. <clears throat> um, I've not done anything with the game so far other than turn the music down. I'm afraid, uh, you know, how YouTube is, so we've turned the music down to zero. Uh, as much as I would like to be playing the music for you, um, essentially, I don't like to take the risk with it. Um, <clears throat> we are currently running at 1080 uh, with 4 times AA. My graphics profile set to low. Uh, I, well, I'll tinker with that later. Uh, I think I can probably do more. As I doubt the engine's much more demanding than Civilization it's 5 itself. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. So we have Map Inertia. Skip intro video. Uh, turn it's between auto saves, max auto saves, cap. It's a little of nice life, you know, life uh, options there. Uh, map drag speed, buying a mouse, never. Yeah, game options. Automated workers don't replace improvements. All makers workers don't replace feature, don't remove features. No reward pop-ups. No tell. I'm not going to play with any of this stuff right now. Uh, I am not, however, new to civilization. I am new to Beyond Earth. So, uh, we'll do it that way. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's kick one off, shall we? So, um, I'm gonna set up a game, because that way I can, like, set difficulty and such. Uh, Mercury would be for normal difficulty, which I think will be fine for our first foray. Uh, game pace. I don't want a quicker game... Well, I do. It's my first taste. I want to know what things are regularly like. But, um. Yeah, it's small seems appropriate. Okay. So, let's see. We have our civiliz our sponsors. This is how we get set up. Instead of picking a civilization, now we kind of pick out our bits and pieces. So, uh, we choose a sponsor. That's our host nation, or in this case, corporation. Um. <laughs> So the ARC is the uh, American Recovery Corporation, something like that. So it's not actually the U.S. government. Uh, Pan-Asian Cooperative, Franco-Iberia, Slavic Federation, Polystralia, uh, Cavathan Protectorate, Brasilia, and the African Union. Uh, I like the little Star Trekiness of their of their logo. So I'm going to go with the Slavic mm -hmm. Federation. Also, orbital units stay in orbit 20% longer, and the first one launched grants free technology. So I'm going to go with that. And next. So what kind of colonists are we initially sending? Scientists, refugees, aristocrats, engineers, or artists? Well, I'm thinking... I'm thinking engineers, to be honest. Slavic engineers. Yes, good hardy people. Now, uh, this is where we get to choose our spacecraft, which has various advantages, as you can see here. We can have um, a continental surveyor, which reveals coasts on the map up front. Uh, retrograde thrusters, which will give us a larger choosing area for our first city and additional visibility around that. Uh, tectonic scanner, which reveals the petroleum, geothermal, and titanium resources on the map. And a fusion reactor, which begins with 100 a energy, which is basically money in this game. And uh, then we have a life form sensor, which reveals all the alien nests on the map. These are various, variously useful for your, in different ways. I'm going to take the retrograde thruster. That way we can soft land and choose. Actually, I have no idea what I'm actually trying to choose for. I don't, do I? I'll just take the money. Money is a safe bet, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what kind of cargo do we have? Well, we're going to start with a hydroponics bay, so you get an extra population in your first city. A laboratory, so you begin with pioneering technologies. Raw materials, so you can build a clinic in your first city. A uh, weapon arsenal, so you start with a soldier unit. Or machinery, so you can start with a worker unit. I think starting with a worker unit, so you can build improvements, is a fast way to get the rest of this stuff. And now I have to choose my planet. 
So, we have a Terran world, a Protean world, an Atlantean world, you know, just like in Civilization V, where you had, like, oh, Atlanteans, a bunch of islands, you know, uh, Protean worlds, one with one large ocean, one very large continental mass. Terran worlds have large and small land masses with different sized oceans. And then there are advanced worlds, like a world wrecked by tectonic forces and without oceans are easily accessible. Water, ooh. And we're not going to mess with that right now. <laughs> um, let's take Terran. Okay, Tyson 378B. So, named in honor of the great hero of the pre-mistake age of the great oops, Mike Tyson, and his mystery-solving adventures. So, let's get started. X. I do not know what is in store for us. It is possible we will flourish effort, or perhaps we will be set upon by monsters we can barely comprehend. Either way, I hope for peace, and through our superior weapons, we will achieve it. Well, now. Hello, I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. How would you like me to proceed? Well, as I've already selected new to beyond Earth, I can have it not come up at all. And, uh, why don't you just, just give me advice? Select a suitable location for our people to make planet for. This will be the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the red border to land. I like having the guy chatting. Um, let's see here. So I can put, basically plop the city down in one of these five spots. We do have a river there, and a hill there, and in traditional civilization that would mean, therefore I want to be here. Um, there's some kind of resource there, which I don't recognize. I understand miasma is a difficulty, but that's what the mist is, because I have watched some videos in the run-up to this, because, you know, I was ex excited about this pro about this game as much as anybody else was, and uh, watching the Firaxis broadcasts. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's something. So I may want to be on the closer side of that, although that's... I'm not sure what that is. But there's something right there, so that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll take the hill. Crawbrost. Well, I don't know if I want to name it Crawbrost. Can I rename it? Come on. Let me, no, I don't want to purchase a plot. I want to re I want to rename the name the city. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's call it Safe Landing. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's too cheesy. Uh, we need something. Oh, well, this is Tyson, so let's call it, uh, let's call it the Coop. And, okay. Fifteen turns to border growth. We return back to the map. Um, <clears throat> it suggests I build a farm. And that'll be our little explorer unit. Okay, well... Building a farm is a thing, and it's right there, so let's do so. Well, you need to avoid the miasma, but explore. So. Something over there. Good. I think that might be, what, floatstone, they call it? No, it's gold. Okay. And I need to choose production of the city. So the old earth relic generates uh, culture at the cost of cash. Uh, the clinic generates science and health at the, you know, again, cost of cash. Or I can try building units. Uh, I will... The economic advisor recommends relic. The relic is faster. I'm going to go with the relic. Choose research. So... The tech web provides a bird's eye view of the technologies that may be discovered and how they are connected. Technologies come in two types, branches and leaves. 
Branches represent broader technological ideas and cost less research. Leaves are more specific and are more expensive. Okay. So, as I was about to say, thank you very much, advisor. Uh, <clears throat> we start with habitation, right? And there's a whole web of technologies here instead of just like the trees we used to have. So if I wanted to push in one direction, I can. If I want to collect a whole bunch of a range, we can do that too. You need there are still requirements to get to places, like I have to have these two to get to this one. And I need these two and that one to get to the here, you know, and so on and so forth. So to get all the way over there, I need to like build out some. Um also, the, what they was talking about, how there are leaves, is uh, each of these technologies, as you can see, has little subsidiary bits, right? So once you have, uh, say, ecology, you can also work on geophysics or alien biology. So that means I have a choice right now of going for one of these uh, on the outline spokes, these five here in purple. Or I can go for one of these two off of habitation, which is furthering my research into that into that technology. Now the planetary survey allows us to build work barges and uh, allows land units to embark across water tiles. Uh, pioneering allows us to well build civilian colonist units. You know you, that's a useful thing. Um, <clears throat> Chemistry allows, reveals the petroleum on the map. It allows us to build petroleum wells. Engineering reveals the titanium. The economic minister think, advisor thinks I should go for ecology. Miasmic repulsor could be handy. Uh, genetics. Mm, physics. Well, a launch complex is necessary to get my orbital constructions underway, isn't it? Hmm. But, yeah, so let's go with physics. That's what we're going to do. Yes, okay. We're, we're Slavic and powerful, and we want to get things in the air fast. Right, next turn. Ah, now that's, a, that's some kind of hive, I believe. There's an R one. Alright, so let's move away from that. So it's a resource called Reslin. And this is basalt. units tend to be very fragile. There, I'm not happy about that. This may be helpful. Where's the artifact? Ah. Oh. Thank you. Progenitor ruin. Hmm. I'll have to risk the unit a bit, but uh that's worth checking out. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. You should order your explorer to the site and excavate it to see if there is something worthwhile to Already be found. on the agenda, thank you very much. You have a new quest available. Throughout the game, your actions will trigger different quests that can unlock bonuses for your people. Open the quest log to see what's available to you, and check back often. Thank you. Found an outpost. Excuse me, I have important information for you. Do you mind? Thank you. Found an outpost. For our colony to prosper, we should consider expanding. We should focus our efforts on researching how to create new outposts for the colony. Well, okay, we will be doing that. Um, but right now, we're working on physics. Now, 
I'm going to swing this guy around this way because I think it might get closer and fat safer. Um, okay, we got a farm. our cultural artifact. Excellent. So let's, uh, I think we should probably get the clinic up and going. All right. Resource pods yeah, were sent ahead of our journey and contain valuable materials from old earth. Send a unit onto the resource pod to see what it contains. Thank you very much. I will be definitely going that way and further validates my choice of direction. So, there we are. Now, yeah. I'll get the one move. Okay, so, the generator would generate plus two energy here. And it would mean balancing the economy, so... It'd be useful if I knew generally what the production was. Is there an option for that? It used to be on uh, orbital and normal game view, diplomacy. There's our research. So yeah, plus two energy here would be two food, four energy. That's worthwhile. Okay. Okay, I found a cache of laboratory equipment from old Earth made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. The equipment is eagerly welcomed by your scientists, providing 19 research. Quest here, gifts from home. Found in our resource pod to complete that quest. Okay. And that speeds up our research, so it's only 14 turns getting physics taken care of. Now, now. Leave us alone, buggies. Don't want to go through the miasma. Stay back. Well, you would head directly where I'm going. Familiar exo uh, exotics. When we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from old Earth. Somehow, one of these plants has taken root outside of the coop and turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment into a more Earth-like ecosystem. Whether or not that's a good thing must be decided. Okay. Do I get to choose? I get to choose. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let it just go, because honestly. The world more like old Earth who I find easier to tame, indeed. We should let the outbreak spread and see where it leads. Plus high culture. Okay. We develop a virtue. The virtue screen allows you to choose the virtues that will shape your civilization. You spend your accumulated culture to acquire them. The deeper you go in each row or column, the more bonuses you will earn. Okay. Plus 10% production towards buildings. Plus 10% science when healthy. Plus 10% food when retained after a city grows. Or 50% XP from combat. Let's take the science boost. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Stay away from them. Maybe they'll leave us alone. There's, there's my asthma right there, though. Need must? What now? Invasive plant has begun to spread, eliminating other resources from the surrounding land. However, the species has grown to be a great potential crop, as it grows faster and larger than it ever did on old Earth. Our scientists believe that through low-level genetic modification, plant can be made to serve as either food or energy. We simply must decide which is more beneficial. Okay. I will take an energy crop. Build a petrochemical plant building in the coop. Oh, okay, we will definitely do that. And I don't want to finish my turn on that miasma. That, I believe, is fraxite, yes. You know, there were so many other worlds to choose from, and you'd have to go and come to mine. But I'm in no position to declare war. So, screw off. <laughs> that. Floatstone. Looks like there's no way to get there without going through miasma. Seriously. One of them. So, you know, we can't injured. But now we're here. So, order my explorer to ex excavate this site to search for usable materials. And as for that, that's done. So, we'll build a farm over here. Me up and are running nicely. This may be helpful. Keeping your citizens healthy is key to a productive colony. Advanced additional citizens make your colony more unhealthy. All virtues in some buildings provide positive health to counteract it. Try to keep your people healthy to avoid research and cultural penalties. Thank you. So, we're still healthy. So, that's fine. production. Well, we don't have any other buildings to build. Um, suppose I could build an Arc Explorer? Yeah, okay. Seriously? The temple doors of the Protectorate are open. Yeah. Put it open to me and welcome as you land on my planet and are trespassing on my territory. You had so many other worlds you can go to, and here you are, buttering up my place. Seriously. And you're even on, like, my landmass. Very annoyed now. Planning on already destroying you. Alright, so we can move up into... Oh, well, extra 30 from finishing expeditions. We're about to finish an expedition. I will not even look further. <laughs> Bam! Your explorer has discovered something wonderful. There are many more sites like this to investigate around the world, so you might want to consider building additional explorers to send to these locations. Thank you. While exploring the progenitor ruins, several members of your expedition team were struck simultaneously with a powerful vision depicting the construction of a towering device larger than a city. The vision was so detailed that the expedition team was able to share some of its secrets with your people as a whole, granting a free level up in an affinity. 
Consider a simple problem, such as navigation in a spaceship approaching light speed. Allows the observatory and launch complex buildings, allows the ranger military unit, improves production of output of your quarries. So, we have a free affinity level. Uh, that means I'm choosing either harmony, purity, or supremacy at the moment. So, harmony, you're working kind of along with the world and the aliens, um, kind of living that hippy dippy dream. Uh, purity, you know, we're humans and humans need to stay humans as humans are, um, and the world should bend to us. And uh, supremacy is more like, well, <sighs> technology will just deal with everything. <laughs> Your lungs aren't up to breathe in the air. How about these nice, face, uh, nice artificial lungs, <laughs> or a nice rebreather unit? Or <laughs> um, I like either of those approaches uh, on an intellectual level. Uh, aliens will not attack tiles with explorer units. I like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Because you've earned an affinity point in either purity, supremacy, or harmony, you can now choose an upgrade for your soldier unit. Once you choose an upgrade, all of your soldiers will instantly adopt this upgrade and change appearance. You can upgrade additional unit types as you earn higher levels of affinity. Thank you. You've earned your first affinity point in either purity, supremacy, or harmony. Affinity can be earned by researching certain texts, completing quests, or excavating various sites around the world. Affinity allows mm -hmm. you to upgrade your units, and at higher levels, it will change your entire civilization. Okay, thank you, advisor. Right. How much joy can this new plant hold when all I can think of is everything I've left behind? Phaedra, lamentation for planet fall. Level 1 purity achieved. Aliens will not attack tiles to explore units. New upgrades available for my units. So... Let's see, we should be getting the pioneering tech going so we can actually get a colonist. And let's see, we need to do our upgrade, so I need to select a perk. This may be helpful. Thank you. So, I can either have <clears throat> plus 15% attacking or plus 5 heal when not embarked. I'll take the extra attack, because I now have someone I actually want to ass kick anyway. So there we go. Okay, my little explorer, let's get back out and, just, uh, out and moving. cost me money and I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. Okay, we'll build a ranger. Get a little armed force up and going. Alright, go pick that up for me. Inside the resource pod, you found a collection of goods and luxuries from old earth that your people never thought they would see again. These rally and refocus your people, providing Phyllis 15 culture. Excellent. Let's see, that's a chitin. More Phyraxite. Let's go this way. There's my other explorer. I'm going to send him down this way. Check out the jungle down here. Oh, so am I. 
Venez, mettez-vous à l'aise. Franco Iberia vous accueille chaleureusement. Oh, oh, oh. The mud. Euh. Well, let's go check out your whole neighborhood, because I'm already up here anyway. Station Charter. Several new ventures wish to establish their operation near our territory to provide different re services that may be beneficial to be useful to us. Stet Mining provides plus four production to any city that establishes a trade route. Banda Musa provides plus four science to any city that establishes a trade route. Which venture would you like to approve? Right. I will take Stet Mining. You have discovered a station. You can establish trade routes with stations to receive various supplies that your people may need. Thank you. So yes, I've awarded charter to Stet Mining. Which is conveniently up here in a place where... yeah, okay. And once we do a bit of trade with them, and I can run a road up that way anyway, yeah, it'll work out. Hey, jerk faces. Looks like you came with soldiers, eh? Well, I, I recommend you go beat up on some aliens, then. I'm just gonna drive around stealing anything I can from your neighborhood. Excellent. That is a lot of aliens. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. We choose progress. Indeed. Yep, we got uh, 30 science for completing gifts from home. The resource pod itself had a portable reactor and fuel source inside the resource pod. Able to activate it despite some damage from landing and provide us with 70 energy. So that's one quest, quest done. Now we have to construct the mobile machinery needed to construct the outpost. Choose our research. Uh, ballistics would allow me to build a rocket battery. <laughs> um, engineering is recommended by the combat. I haven't seen any titanium. Re oh, reveals titanium. Right. Repair facility, thorium reactor, and combat rover. I can see how that'd be useful. Hmm. Recycler. Let's. Well, I could reach out here to bionics, but it'll take forever to ever get to get done. Yeah, the thorium reactor sounds appealing, as does the combat rover. We'll go engineering. <laughs> probably won't attack me, according to my perk. It's fungus over here. Hmm. But that's a dead end down this way, which is, that's fine. I mean, it's nice to have a nice quiet backyard full of aliens. Um, sea creature. Alright, let's get you out of here. Oh, we gotta develop a virtue. Let's see, so this one is, each city tile generates plus two point, uh, basically a quarter culture point for every population. That's a good long-term gain. Extra XP from combat, it's gonna come up. social wars. 
Okay. Bring you back for a little R and R. More annoying neighbors. How good is the arc? How may the corporation serve you? By leaving? Okay, now I'm taking my asthma hits, but uh, now we're going to heal up back here. Now that looks like an impact crater. So let's check out near there. Okay, got that running. There's our ranger unit. I'm just gonna send out here and fortify. You need to heal up. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. You should order your explorer to the site and excavate it to see if there is something worthwhile yes, to be yes, found. Yes. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. A lot of flutestone up here. Okay, we're gonna need a trade depot. Also gonna need the colonist. And eventually we're gonna need a trade convoy. Um, let's start with the depot. There we go. All nice and healed up. Blood Bank. Quest decision. Since opening our clinic, the populace has been split by an ideological divide. Securing and improving our new territory has put a great strain on both our military and civil, civil workforces, and both contend that hazards they face should be offset by state-sponsored health care. Our fledgling colony does not have the resources to do both, which then has the greater need of aid, defense workers or civil workers. Um, looking at it from the outside, I'm going to have plus one health from clinics. That's in our plus one health. Plus 15 city hit points from clinics is less desirable than the plus one health, I'm thinking. So I'm going to take it on that decision. Defense and security are vital, but our colony must invest in its infrastructure for it to truly thrive. Okay. Let's get over here. Oh, but I can't do an expedition. I've already done one, haven't I? Crud. I have to send the other unit all the way up there. Uh, and before anybody else finds out about it. Returning this unit to one of my cities will refill its supply. Oh man, I wish I'd noticed that earlier. Crap. Alright, get all the way back here. You. I'm going to have to send you all the way over here. And you're going to go in there as quickly and as directly as possible. Uh, how we remember? Quest decision. Our relic has provoked an ideological split amongst our citizens. Some believe the old Earth relic is instrumental as a source of solace for the grief people feel over their lost world. They want it left in reverent peace as a shrine. Other thinks it represents a valuable repository of traditional wisdom that must be studied and displayed publicly if humanity is to embrace its new home. Uh, all relics are free of maintenance cost or plus one culture from relics. I like plus one culture. Okay. Yeah, wandering 
directly through to my asthma, but we are trying to get there as quickly as possible. एक और एक ग्यारह होते हैं. No, I don't really want to cooperate with you, but you know what? Let us say we are going to right now, okay? So there's definitely somebody I want to kill right here. <sighs> right. <clears throat> I just don't have anywhere near the productivity to go and kill somebody. Hakima <sighs> Station is now. Let's go, Warren. The African people greet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another person just come to shove their way into my freaking planet, because, you know, the universe is so freaking tiny. So, Hecuma Station's new. Where's that? Don't know. It's somewhere. Right, my worker needs inf instruction. Um, well, let's build a road out this way, you know. Costs energy, though. Yeah, and until I'm actually doing that, it strikes me as a bad idea, though. Okay. Mm what happens if I go to one of these forest tiles? Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. Bridges, children. Bridges. You don't want the toy train. You want the bridge the toy train goes on. Okay. <laughs> um, power systems. That's the supremacy affinity. Defense grid. Planetary survey is tempting. Chemistry to reveal petroleum is worth is tempting too. As the recycler is also worthwhile. And it's only eleven turns, let's go with chemistry. Now, let's see. So what can we what's the best build here? That provides one food and one production. It's like one of my few production tiles, though. Uh, if I put a farm here, I'd have to clear the forest. I would also clear the forest. This just clears the forest. Alright, so there's nothing you can actually do with forest directly. Right. Well, let's go here, then. Your eyes only. A mysterious encrypted transmission was received from an unknown origin. After some considerable effort has been decoded, the clear text reads: "The Culper cell requires infrastructure for covert operations. Should you choose to accept, you will be rewarded in time." Okay. So now I can build these facilities for these units. Uh, the trade convoy is necessary to go and actually make use of the trade depot. So I'm going to do that. Give me a farm. And I can develop a virtue, which I will go for labor logistics, I think. Because then I want to be able to get into the broader range here. Traded my life for a leg. 
traded my life for my leg when I met the great worm. Now, with all the fury and courage this cripple can bring to bear, I hunt. I hunt the earth drinker. I hunt the worm. Kill one siege worm. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't in a hurry to go and, you know, attack siege worms, but why not? Hey, yeah, look who's made back. Okay. Yes, war. Faith is our shield. Screw you in your attempt to steal my things. Probably silly of me. I think you know it was already damaged, but. <laughs> With the depot now built, we've been able to amass an adequate surplus of resources. The question is, what to do with our abundance of goods? Do we send it to our factories, or allow our merchants freedom to trade with it? Now resources will add production, plus one production from the trade depot, or resources will be used for trade, plus one energy. I will use it for production. Stock. There we go. That's a Franco Iberian explorer. It'd be a minor defeat if I attacked. Mine. Mine, I tells you. Alright, there's our trade convoy. Uh, I just strongly suspect I'm going to need a soldier. <laughs> um, so that would be the marine unit. Repair mm. facility will allow us to build our units generally faster. a trade route. So I can go all the way to Liqueur, which is three energy, one science, one and uh, they get energy in return. Or I can get just simply four production from step mining, which I will do. Well, since they buggered off, hey hey. Your expedition thoroughly investigated the derelict settlement. It found no survivors, but did find records from the last desperate days of a failed settlement. A psychohistorical analysis of the struggles has provided your people with insight as to how to avoid mistakes they made, providing 30 culture. Excellent. A four billion year old world's worth of resources, shared among a handful of people. We're gonna make a fortune here. So, okay. I need to build the petrochemical plant as one of my quest items, doesn't I? Let's have a look here. Where's my quest log? Uh, let's see here. Here we are. Build a petrochemical plant building in the coop. Right. So that's a quest item. Let's do that. So that seems useful. Water refinery and petrochemical plants seem good. Okay. That looks like oil right there. Alright, what can we 
we build here? Construct a paddock. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, stay in the miasma. African Union Explorer. Well, I'm just gonna sit in your way, man. Colony. Uh, a continent, actually. Right, you need to heal up from the fight. You also need to get back so you can restock. Right, there's our ranger. Okay. Simple laboratory. Recycler. The recycler would go up pretty quick, actually. Yeah, that seems like a thing. Can I just buy things with energy? I mean, I am accruing energy here. Purchase. So I have 568 energy. I could invest that in getting the thorium reactor, which will give me three back a turn. See, keeps the money out of my pocket, right? Right. <laughs> you just going to alert. You're just going to heal up there. And that's as far over as we ever got over this way. So, what do you want to do? Their offer a buttload of energy plus ongoing payment and open borders. Why, yes, I do accept. Thank you. We agree, my child. My child. You know, we're doing negotiations right there. <laughs> Plus five energy in the capital, plus one energy from our basic resource. We'll do the plus five in the capital right now. That's a worm. Well, with that extra pile of cash. trade vessel? How do I know how many trade vessels I can support? Mm -hmm. Ah, two trade routes. Okay. So, purchase. This is a naval trade unit. And then trade convoys are still over land. Okay. Or I could just buy the colonist. Let's buy the colonist. That's a nice it's a nice payoff on our little war. So we've complete construction of necessary machinery, search for an ideal location to build an outpost, preferably a location rich with food and a resource, and send the colonists to that location once you write out the outpost. Okay. Where's good? Probably down here, near the frac site. It's safe. Meanwhile, out here would be grabbing territory I do want, and resources I want. It would be nice to have Step Mining as a little private enclave. Um, 
a hill here. That floatstone for axite and gold. And chitin. Yeah. Okay, okay. You can found an outpost with your colonist. Outposts eventually grow into cities. An outpost will prosper when founded in a location with plentiful food. So choose a location with food producing resources or grassland if possible. Move your colonist to a fertile location and found an outpost. Thank you. Kind of worked that out. Okay, so. Right, Meldal colonist. Just thinking this little hill right here. And. Does mean hitting that miasma right there, but I think that's gonna be okay overall. <laughs> right on their freaking doorstep. I love it. Find a portable reactor and fuel source. It gave me 40 energy. All right. Hmm. Mm, it's clear that indigenous species of this planet may prove a threat to our growth. Though we cannot determine their intelligence, their hostility has been documented. Moving forward, we must decide how to deal with them. Do we attempt to domesticate the local wildlife or exterminate it? Um, domesticate is plus one harmony, plus supremacy. Eradicate is plus one purity. Uh, let's keep it out of the native colony. It can be, like, preserved elsewhere. That I don't mind. I need to destroy two alien nests. Oh, lovely. Um... Let's build the combat rover. And that's like a rift, isn't it? I can't, like, get through that. one. Hmm. Well, they're healed up. We'll go off this way. Actually, I should be building this colony, shouldn't I? So, let's see here. Yes, found the outpost. Uh, it's within three tiles of our city. Here. Yes. Okay, we got a soldier and marine unit to defend the area. So you can't even rename them? Okay. Get my laboratory built. Right, 
that's all that. So we need a road up to my new little location. Um, logically, you should do it through Viastat Mining, but... Hmm, up this way shorter, and possibly more strategically useful. But it does mean driving through Miasma with a worker unit, which I'm not inclined to do. That's Miasma there, which was stupid. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. You should order your explorer to the site and excavate it to see if there is something worthwhile to be found. Thank you. Well, we're already heading up that way, so yeah, excellent. Creative Spark. Our colonial grid is now powered by a thorium reactor. Already its people have grown accustomed to its gentle hum and glow. So efficient is the reactor, it's barely working at capacity. If we pushed it further, we could divert the energy towards increased production speed, or we could use it to create new units and structures, both of which would be of great benefit. So I can use it to increase production, or I can get more energy output. I'm going to increase production. And let's see. Let's go this way. Seems to be a bit of a different biome over here. Interesting. Okay, start building a road. Opportunity to expand our interest has arisen. A nearby organization, Firebase One, has developed practices that synergize with ours. If you were to establish a trade route with them, the output from both our operations would increase. Okay, so build a trade route with them. Alright. Well, it's a bit of a trip. But we could do it. Mm, 400. Mm, trade convoy. Hostile takeover. Our trading partner, Stet Mining, has a request for us. Their interests overlap those of the nearby rival, Farbase One. They wish us to eliminate this rifle. I'm going to return we're offered substantially increased reward for our trading patronage. Destroy Farbase One! <laughs> okay. No, I'm not planning on doing that right now. Yield from trade with Stet Mining for 20 turns. Okay. Section one.
drive through here. We'll just explore that and then go to the outpost here. Peace treaty is finally expired. <laughs> Interested in engaging aliens nor going through the miasma, so I will do nothing. Biochemistry on this world is like a good contract. It looks straightforward, but there are some real devils in the details. <laughs> see here. Biochemistry is done. Um, power systems. Uh, this is strike things a thing yet. Panopticon. All military units receive plus one sight. That's like a wonder, isn't it? Uh, defense perimeter could be good. The planetary survey allows embarkation. Um, computing allows to build a missile rover. Also, spy agency. It'll take 21 turns. Ecology is six. Vivarium, ultrasonic fence. My repulsor is an orbital unit. Yes, we'll go for ecology. Okay. After many fruitless months excavating the alien skeleton, an alien life form approached the, from the wilds as if it was cold. Your expedition team quickly armed itself, but this proved unnecessary. Whatever reverence it held for the dead skeleton seems to have transferred to you. An alien manticore is now under my control. Okay. <laughs> kind of strange. But it might be just the thing. Time to start moving these corpses, I think. City. It may be time to build a colonist to found an outpost, which will eventually grow into a new city. That. Thank you. Quest decision. <clears throat> Head of a new laboratory has an interesting proposal. At the moment, our research is quite broad. This approach is beneficial, but it is dependent on building more laboratories in other cities. However, he believes we can increase our scientific progress by focusing our research on xenocology. Well, once we understand the local biology, we should be able to harness it for our future endeavors. Explore units gain an additional exploration expedition module, or plus one science from laboratories. Well, I'm going to go with that. Because uh, I suspect I'm not going to be doing that much exploration at the moment. Um...
used production for the city here. A water refinery. Plus one food and plus one production from water tiles. Oh, excellent. Let's see how that'd be useful. But since I'm about to think up a nice little fight, let's get in our combat rover and play. Don't get in too close. We're not ready to fight just yet. You have range attack mode? Cool. Put you on alert. <laughs> Seriously. discovered. Yeah. Well, I thought there might be something like that over there, going by all the activity. Our engineering groups have discovered a new efficient method to build and deploy satellites. Once constructed, you can launch a satellite to the orbital layer, which will allow you to project abilities or firepower down to the world below. Choose its final orbital location carefully, as it cannot be moved once deployed. Thank you. geothermal sites on the map and it allows me to build geothermal wells. Alien biology. Hmm. Allows worker miasma immunity. That could be quite a good thing. Um, genetics is cheap and easy. Allows for construction of a cyto nursery and a farm lab. Yes, five turns, we'll definitely do that. Okay. We appear to share a benevolent approach towards the alien life on this planet. Long may it remain so. Well, I mean, I'm not actively killing it, but that's just because I'm not interested in expending my resources and efforts on trying to kill things. Now let's rename this town. Cobrost. Cobrost. There. No, this Sla fundamental Slavic spelling. Right. <clears throat>
can't move across there. Yeah, it's, it's dead. Right. And you'll do nothing there. That's another combat rover. on the area around the city here. Somebody's trading with me. the Marines from local duty and put them forward as well. <clears throat> Let's see, I could invest some of my cash in Cobrost. Thorium reactor costs 420. I have 418. Well, next turn. Please, the CIA resisted targeting alien life. Mm hmm. I don't want them anywhere near my colonies, but at the same time, I'm not interested in expending myself against them. So, that can be up to you guys. I know this is a rather long episode, uh, but you know, so we're kicking this off, and I'm in, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs>
Mexico, Iberia, and African Union and cooperating. We have finished construction on a unit which can launch into orbit. To launch it, select the unit and click its action button. Once launched, it will have an area effect on the tiles beneath it until it deorbits. This is the new launch complex. It's far more advanced than any we built on Earth. Not only is it sleek and efficient, but it can also perform its function without devastating the surrounding landscape. Now that it has been tested and proven, our engineers would like to make some additional modifications. If we wish, we can add a dual launch protocol, increasing the size of our orbital network, or they can install an automated production matrix, increasing production speed. Whichever we choose will surely benefit our orbital needs. Okay. Plus one launch orbital launch coverage from launch complexes, or plus 10% production for orbital units from launch complexes. Um, Hmm. Production. Seems safe. Alright. And I would like a Vivarian. Let's see. And then we need to launch the unit. Ready to launch. Launch orbital unit mode. Put that right here. This is the orbital view. It displays the effect areas of units that are in orbit. Effect areas cannot overlap, so it is useful to plan launches ahead well, of actually, time. This view also shows your launch coverage area. An orbital unit must be launched over a tile with coverage. Coverage can be extended by constructing city buildings. So I could actually put that here and kind of extend its effect off, off center from the city. Getting more of my land covered. Which strikes me as an excellent thing. Yes. Well, I think it's time to light this candle and get to go to fought, go to war. should move out of range. Robotics. Could be neat. Bionics. Biology. Organics. Fabrication. I definitely want something expensive, you know? Terraforming. Gives plus one energy from generator improvements, which I have plenty, a couple of. A mass digester construction. Extra energy for tundra and four grower special slots. And a biofactory production for chitin. Hmm. That allows me to put a dome over terrain. Robotics is a bit cheap, otherwise I'd be right on top of that. I'm thinking maybe fabrication. 
Plows construction of mag rail, alloy foundry, carrier. Okay. A useful heuristic for determining metacognition is to ask Does this organism merely create tools, or does it create tools which create new tools? Okay. Alright, my little thing. I'm gonna have you build a mag rail for the rest of the way. <laughs> um. You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. Okay, the explorer has his expedition module reloaded and is ready to head out again. So let's send it. Let's send it there. Range fire. see inner ring unless I want to like do some of the leaves. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Planetary service cheap. Allows units across water. Yeah, okay. Precious alien distraction was killed. I'm being attacked by aliens. That's weird. Me, will you? Attacking over river is a bad idea. True. This unit up to deal with the alien. Continue to distract you with my other unit. Yes. By parking it here. <laughs> Poor Manticore died. The city seems capable of defending itself, I gotta say.
Getting plus one energy from basic resources. And I get free virtue. Plus 25% production towards buildings which have already been built in the capital. It's a good thing. You'd say tile generates plus 24 per quarter science per population. Or an extra culture equal 30% that of positive health. Standardized architecture. Okay. The carrier. Uh, it's for air units. I don't have any air units. Start construction of an armoring unit. We're going to need to be able to move to our more defensive footing on this fight. snipers instead of rangers. A bonus. Permanent plus 10 str percent strength and range combat strength in combat. Instantly recover 50 health points. I will take this one and we'll fortify till healed. Well, this has gone on for an hour and a half. Um, this has been fun, and I've clearly made some mistakes along the way, but I mean, this has been a good exploration to, uh, first touch. So, uh, will I finish it? I, I might finish it sometime, um, but I think we might be starting a new game at some point here. And that will allow us to, you know, start a proper playthrough. 
So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, folks. Goodbye.